So from an incident taxonomy perspective, there are, are other areas that you want to include as well. So from a detection method, uh, end user support, was it you know, submitted by an end user? Was a, a law enforcement official come in, like the FBI, to notify it and tell you that something's wrong within your environment? Or maybe it was a DLP product uh, or an intrusion prevention system. It's important to identify what the initial detection method was because at the end of the year, you can look back and see, okay, across all of my incidents, what tools or technologies or you know, maybe individuals within the organization reported an incident? You know, where am I investing and am I investing in the right place? And then vector-wise, how did they get in? Was it via a spear phishing attack through email? Was it an end user action or a vulnerability exploited? So if it's an email, maybe you need to invest in a technology that you know, mitigates at the email gateway layer. Or maybe from a vulnerability perspective, maybe you need to focus on patch management. These are all things that are, are important or critical to identifying maybe where you need to focus your efforts from a security initiatives perspective. And then impact-wise, uh, what occurred, right? Was there an employee dismissed HR ethics violation? Was there a loss of productivity within the business? Or was it just unauthorized privileges or web defacement? So making sure you identify what the impact is to the company is important too. In addition to intent, so was it non-malicious or malicious theft, accidental? You know, these are all critical uh, components that will derive some meaningful metrics uh, as you're going on. And then finally, the three other ones I would recommend is around the data that's exposed, right? Was it public or confidential export control? You know, this will tell you what types of information that are potentially targeted. From a mitigation perspective, how did you remediate that particular incident? Was it due to OS patching or did you require maybe user awareness and training? You know, I'll speak to the user awareness and training. It, it's tough uh, from that perspective because it almost doesn't matter how much you train individuals, even though it's important, there's always going to be somebody like Bob in accounting that clicks that email link or, or Adam or Andy the IT admin who forgets to or neglects to shut down a specific firewall port. So there's always that human intervention that you need to take into consideration. And any controls that you can do uh, in, from a preventative perspective up front uh, is a recommended course. And then what was the root cause ultimately? Was it an unauthorized action? Was it vulnerability management or theft? Or maybe it was a, a key security control failure and gap or a complete disregard of policy. You know, these are all critical to answer um, you know, as you're going through your incident response cycle.